Hi guys, today we are going to discuss the liquid pressure. I am going to tell you briefly upon what factors does the liquid pressure depend. Now here we have a barometer, you know the barometer is uh, used to measure the liquid pressure. Here we have water and we fill the container with water and then we try to measure the liquid pressure at any given depth. So as you see here, as you put the barometer at a depth of approximately one meter, then you see that the liquid pressure is approximately uh, 9.8 kilopascal as, as it is seen over here. So as you uh, bring the barometer down, that is you measure the liquid pressure beneath the surface of the water at a distance of approximately 2 meters from the surface, then you see that it is now twice. And increasing the depth of the, the liquid increases the pressure, the liquid pressure as you see. So we can easily see that here, the liquid pressure increases with the depth. So increasing the depth increases the liquid pressure. And when you move this uh, barometer horizontally, for example, along this line at a distance uh, at a depth of uh, approximately two meters now you see that the pressure is almost constant so moving the barometer along the line at a distance of two meter from the surface uh, does not change the pressure so at the same horizontal line at the same depth you can easily say that the pressure of the liquid is constant and is not changing so in order to increase the pressure, you should move down. That is, you should increase the depth of the liquid from the surface of the water, from this line over here. And this is the first factor that I wanted to mention. So the liquid pressure increases with the depth of the liquid. So when the liquid, depth of the liquid increases, the pressure increases. The second thing I want to mention here is the liquid pressure, uh, is the density of the liquid, sorry. So if the density of the liquid increases, then what happens? Uh, now, here you see, we can change the density over here. So I want to first put this at the, at the bottom over here. And we see that the pressure is approximately 29.2 kilopascals, say 3, 29.3 kilopascals. And when you increase the density, see what happens. So the density uh, of the water is approximately uh, 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. If you increase this, if you increase this, and say make it 1.4 that is the, the density of the honey in this case uh, then you see that the liquid pressure increases I want to shift this back so here we have water and when we have water this is uh, approximately 29 kilopascals when you make it honey that is, you increase the density of the liquid, then what happens? The pressure, the liquid pressure increases in the same manner. So, decreasing the density, here you see we have shifted this to gasoline, and gasoline has uh, a density of 700 kilogram per, uh, per cubic meter. So. Uh, when the density decreases, the pressure also decreases. Now, this is the second factor uh, that the liquid pressure depends upon. So, it depends upon, what was the first factor? It depends upon the depth of the liquid. As the depth of the liquid increases, then the pressure increases. 
and as the density increases as the density increases the pressure increases as you see and there is one another factor this is the gravitational acceleration uh, g which is the gravitational constant Uh, when you increase the gravitational acceleration, I mean when you do this experiment at a different place, say on Mars, on Mars, the gravitational acceleration is approximately 3.7 meter per second square. So uh, this is less than that on the Earth. On the Earth, it is approximately 9.8 meter per second square. So now we are on earth if you bring this container which is full of honey at the at the moment then you are going to see that uh, the liquid pressure uh, in mars on mars is uh, less than that of the earth and if you bring the same container which is full of honey uh, to the jupiter then you can easily see that this increases. So, to summarize what we have stated so far, we have said that the liquid pressure depends on some factors. And the first factor we have discussed was the density of the liquid. The density of the liquid. And then it depends, uh, sorry, the depth of the liquid. And then we have talked about the density of the liquid. And then, finally, we discussed the gravitational acceleration, the effect of the gravitational acceleration on the liquid pressure. So, so uh, to summarize, the liquid pressure at a certain point depends on the density, is directly proportional to the density, and directly proportional to the G, which is the gravitational acceleration and directly proportional to the depth. So multiplying all these three elements gives you the liquid pressure. And we have stated that it doesn't depend, uh, the liquid pressure doesn't depend on the shape of the container or, uh, or the size of the container. It just depends on these three factors, density, gravitational acceleration, and the depth of the liquid. Usually the pressure at any given point is the sum of the liquid pressure plus the atmospheric pressure. Here we have no atmosphere, no atmospheric pressure in this experiment. But when you put the atmospheric pressure together with the liquid pressure, then uh, you are going to take the sum of them. So here, let us turn back to the earth and use water. So we are using water, which is approximately... 1,000 kilo uh, with a density of 1,000 kilogram meter per uh, per meter cube, and as we said, we are doing this experiment on Earth. So here we have a pressure which is equal to 28 kilopascals, but this is the pressure of the liquid only, and not the atmospheric pressure. So if you have atmosphere, I'm sorry. Uh, if you have atmosphere, then you are going to see that the total pressure at the bottom of this container is the atmospheric pressure plus uh, the liquid pressure. And the atmospheric pressure, you know, is huge and it is approximately uh, 100 uh, kilopascals. So this is a huge uh, pressure. So when you add them up, 28 plus, uh, let's see the atmospheric pressure. I want to show you the atmospheric pressure here. So in order to see this, okay, let the water go. So this is the atmospheric pressure. You see 101 kilopascals. So when you have atmospheric pressure only, this barometer measures the atmospheric pressure and when you add some water into the container, then uh, you take the sum of the two pressures. So here, as you fill the container with water, then the pressure 
at the bottom of the container increases as you see. So to summarize what we have stated so far, uh, the liquid pressure depends on the depth of the liquid from the surface of the water or the liquid say that and it depends on the density of the liquid and also on the gravitational acceleration uh, where at the place where the liquid pressure is measured so if you uh, measure the liquid pressure uh, in on earth then this is going to be uh, the gravitational acceleration is going to be 9.8 but when you measured on Mars is going to be approximately 3.7 and when you measure it uh, on uh, Jupiter then in that case this is going to be approximately uh, to 25 uh, meter per second square so the, uh, the liquid pressure depends on three things what are they? The density of the liquid, the place at the where the liquid pressure is measured, and also uh, the depth of the liquid. And the liquid pressure does not depend on uh, the shape or the size of the container. As you see here, at different places, uh, I mean, we have interconnected vessels with different shapes and with different amount of the liquid but at the same level I mean at the bottom say that at the bottom of this container the liquid pressure is the same or at a given height at the same height here over there and at the same just at the same horizontal level over here and there over there uh, they, these are all the same pressures there are the same pressures at the same horizontal level of the liquid.